it's Save Golden's own arena. Today we are going to be creating this social media post using Adobe Illustrator. So we come to file and open up a 12 by 12 inch. Then color we change it to RGB since it is mostly for posting on social media. Resolution we leave it to 300 and everything we leave it as save. We can name it as social media post. Then place create document. So I will start with a rectangle shape like this. Uh, let me remove the stroke. Then make the fill uh, that kind of blue, but later I will come back and change any color I like. Then afterwards, go to use the direct rect tool, go to the one edge and move it with the arrow buttons on the keyboard and afterwards make another rectangle equivalent to this but move it up up like that then you give it a more dark color from the one you have selected like that lock the first one then come here select the two vertices push them up like this then select this one move it to match with the first one then also move this one so that we match the curves you can press ctrl y to see whether it is aligned very well then ctrl y come back then drag it down like this so that it also matches with the first layer's point you can drag with the mouse like this so it's now matching afterwards send it to back like this so you can also copy this take it up and copy this front color send it to back then move this point to this then move it a little bit like this And then also move here like this so we are trying to create some kind of 3d shape so what I'm following about these colors the front one it's like the light is in front or in Z axis so that's why we are making this light and this light so the shadow from this hit this so that why we are having a dark color here to create that illusion of 3d we can choose any font which will, will sell the message faster here i've used a spartan mb that you can use any font as long as it communicates or sends the message as you want so afterwards you can go you can go and pick you can go and choose any photo you would like to use at first this photo was like this it was like this then i took it to photoshop and i made this and i made some adjustment on this a flat and the wall i made them a little bit longer so that it 
it does what I want in my design. So send it to back, then try to bring uh, this lady here. Even make some reflect okay so that is facing our design or our word so by doing it like that making the photo face our words we are giving more contrast to the design so the lady is reacting the design it's like it's looking at it you look trying to look at it so we push it like that then after copy this by holding out out and right mouse button make this shape bigger by dragging the, these points to here then to here then move these points to match with this line because I want like the photo to be wrapped in here so to match like this like this like this you can press ctrl y to see those outlines very well so move it up like that so it's the one we are going to use as our mask on the photo ctrl y to come back to this view then make it fill select make it fit then also move this down anyway you can leave it like that then select the shape and select the photo right click and create a clipping mask then after send it back then move it a little bit out and then send this shape to back so can move it out more less more less more so it's now like this so you can put more graphics uh, more shapes here just playing with these shapes then try to work more on this wording you can increase the front to that then cut this one then paste it again reduce its size move this one up reduce its size to that like that then se select one edge and pull in create a curve also select this edge and pull in to create a curve then after let's use our yellow down here then send our word to front and put back our shape layer to create that kind of design then we can go in and bring our logo
then we can come in and see how we can match the colors with the company colors to see yeah that one is okay then for this one we can go in for a dark for a dark one this And now again for a dark one, since it's dark, we can make this one white. Then we do the same. This make it more darker. Then this one same as this. So so far we are here with creating our design yeah, we are finished on color selection Then try to move these ones up to create some space down. So this is our design for today. Uh, select all of them, then Ctrl G for grouping or right click, go to group. After that, we draw a mask around our design. So that we trim it or crop it to the art board. Clip mask. Ah, so this is our social media post. So for those of you who need us, the arena to design for you, that's our number. You can contact us using our number on WhatsApp or direct call so please subscribe to our channel let's meet next time the arena at beyond